Welcome to Farragut Square. We're here for Amnesty's Arab Spring demonstration. We're joined by Dina Makram Abid from Drop Egypt's Debt. Um, so what is it you're campaigning for? I'm campaigning for people to support what's going on in Egypt today. Um, students and workers have started a general strike today, mainly to call on um, SCAF, the Supreme Council of Armed Forces, to leave power now and hand power to civilians. Um, I'm calling on people here, spe especially, to pressure their governments to stop supporting SCAF and to honor people's calls for wanting to live under a civilian rule. I'm campaigning for Vince Cable to actually allow the debts to be audited and to tell the Egyptian people what these debts are made of. So far he's been actually saying we know the total number but the loan contracts are not available. Which is very ironic really. So um, I'm also asking people here to support us and calling the government to audit the debt and to drop the debts that are odious and were made by a dictator. The, the, the debt today. owed by Egypt to people like Britain and the West. Yes, exactly. And some of it is, is odious. Or odious is basically when you give a debt to a, a dictator or loan to a dictator and the people don't have a say in this. So by actually legal definitions, there are claims to drop these debts. Uh, we want to know if the arms we're being shot at with we're, we are actually paying for them. Are these part of the, um, the expert guarantees we're paying for? And the last thing I also want this government to do is to stop um, harboring ministers who are sentenced in Egypt, are taking refuge here. So really three things, you know, stop supporting SCAF, ask it to step out now, audit the debt if need be, cancel some of it, and stop harboring uh, ministers. Well, what do you think the chances are of SCAF actually stepping down and allowing civilian rule? I think what we have seen, honestly, in the past year is, uh, is, very, uh, is very encouraging. Um, sometimes we all lost hope that they will ever step down. Uh, but the amount of, um, of, uh, of violence they have used, they've committed five massacres, um, at least 300 dead and thousands upon thousands injured, which makes people on the street enraged really enraged and it's no more a question of whether you know we can support them it's it's every day they stay there are more people dying we've lost one person at least one person every month during the last year so it's no more I mean a question of we like them or we don't it's the more they stay the more we die and, uh, and so I think I think there are good reasons to expect that um, they will have to you know and if they do step down you could end up with a uh an Islamic state or a more religious state, which is what a lot of campaigners don't want. So could you end up being worse off by SCAF standing down? Um, I don't think this idea of having a religious state, I mean, I think we've proven so far that this is not happening. And even if you have a majority Islamist parliament, the street has been so vocal. It's been unbelievable. And I think this, uh, this time of, you know, of a power ruling without any uh, consent is, is, is long gone, really. And, and to see something like on the 25th of January, you know, um, after Parliament was sworn in, um, yet we had the biggest number of demonstrators in the streets, even bigger than the 18 days during Mubarak's, uh, the uprising against Mubarak. So, so there is something to say, you know, today about this, this too much fear out of the Islamists is not really justified because there is a very vocal street that is, against, that is against every single power, including the Islamists, and they've come out strongly against them. Okay, thanks for joining us, Dina. Thank you. This is Clement Mann for Vision on TV here in Trafalgar Square.